Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel on a massive Friday in FIFA Ultimate Team. Road to the final is here. And uh, EA dropped a big time promo on us today. Tons of content, tons of stuff to do. Um, I didn't even get to see the loading screen when I logged in. Unfortunate. But Road to the final is here. The graphics are everywhere. The content is here. And we need to talk about this promo and um, kind of just get the feeling right with this promo I and mean, we know this promo from last year it was new last year and um there was a lot of market movements because of it but i want to talk about these cards today the incredible player selection and the the sbcs the objectives and we have to talk about literally the best player of the month sbc in terms of good value that we've ever received on fifa ultimate team so we're going to take a look as we always do with a new promotion at the road to the final official page on fifa's Ultimate Team's website. The player selection is the first thing that I want to talk about. These are incredible players that they have chosen for this Road to the Final Team. Son, Allen, Dembele, Mares, they have picked some of the best cards in FIFA, some of the most meta, most popular cards in FIFA. And, and this is just a, a GG to EA because they know this is going to help them sell packs. Um, but it's also fun for us. Eder Militao, one of the most hyped up center backs in the game this year. Uh, Coman, Sancho, Nerez, Wendell, and Was, uh, And then even some Europa League items as well. Dumfries, the legend from last year. Look at that card. That's an insane card. Uh, Jimenez, Juan Jesus, a solid uh, uh, center back from the Serie A. Um, and then, of course, I want to get down to these frequently asked questions. But the first thing is just the player selection is unbelievable. It's, it's a big time GG. So kind of like the screen promo, this is a two-part promo. But there's something a little bit different about this one. The second part isn't actually a full week. So with Scream, we had the first team in packs for an entire week. Then the second team was in packs for like 10 days or 9 days. But this time around, this promotion is only a 10-day promo. Uh, so the first set of cards in packs, which is what is in packs right now, they are out for a week. They will be out until next Friday, November 15th. The second team will be then in packs from Friday until the 18th. So they're in packs for three days. That's interesting because that's going to mean a lot less opportunity for supply for that second team of players. So we're going to have to kind of keep that in mind as we head throughout the rest of this year that we're going to have less supply on that second set of players just because they're only going to be in packs for three days instead of being in packs for an entire week. So I want to kind of mention that, and that's what we have to remember throughout the rest of this year. Um, but uh, maybe the second team isn't going to be as good as the first one with all the hype players being in the first one. I'm not going to speculate. We'll wait until we see what happens with that one. So for you guys that need a little bit of a refresher on Road to the Final, how does a player get upgraded? It has nothing to do with individual success. It's all about the team and his progression through the tournament. This graph says it all right here, this graphic um, with Sancho. Basically, they get a upgrade for each stage of the tournament that they move through, qualify for the knockout stage, uh, win the first knockout game, qualify for quarterfinals. There's actually a nice little typo in there. Cater finals. Uh, nice. Good job, EA. Semi semifinals, finals, and uh, Champions League winners. So that's kind of the upgrade schedule, and we will revisit this graphic multiple times uh, as we get towards these dates. Now, I think the knockout stage is technically over um, in December. Match day six, I think, is like the first or so week of December. And then we have a pretty decent uh, size gap in terms of Champions League stops in December and then resumes in like late, mid-February, I believe. So we have a nice gap of time in there where a lot of people will not, not they won't forget about these cards, but they will go unupgraded. So we'll have to kind of, you know, monitor that reinvestment as we get later on in the year. And of course, these prices are going to start being affected right away because some of these teams, uh, these cards that have teams that are, you know, in first place in their group, and they're basically going to go through. So that's going to be built into their card price. It gives us a uh, Europa League um, little transition here as well, showing us how they get upgraded. Uh, for Europa League cards, and then some other frequently asked questions. We'll go through these really quick. Uh, they do not need to play. Basically, since they have the card now, let's say Mane gets hurt. Mane gets hurt, doesn't play for the rest of Champions League. If Liverpool would go on to win, he would get upgraded. It's just a team-based promotion, really. The, the success is all based on the team, not on the player. What if a player transfers? If they, play, if they transfer to a team outside of Champions League or Europa League, their card will not get upgraded anymore. If a, champ if a player's uh, team finishes third in the Champions League group stage, they will go down and convert 
to the Europa League item. We had this last year with Ben Yedder, with Kondogbia, so we know how it works. We've seen it last year, and uh, they will continue to get upgraded if they keep advancing in Europa League. If they get knocked out of the tournament, there's no more upgrades to that card. And this is the last thing. And I just don't like this because last year there was a lot of hype and there was a lot of people who lost coins and it was very inconsistent with how they upgraded and when they updated these players if they won. So it says Road to the Final Items can take up a f up to a few days to update in game. A few days. So that's going to be something to watch if we have, you know, some uh, delay in these upgrades. Um, last year we had some of that and the prices just kept going down because people were scared. They were selling. They're like, are these ever going to get upgraded? They should, but are they? So that's going to be an issue probably at some point as well throughout the rest of this year. But that is kind of all that you need to know information about the promo right there. So hopefully that clears some things up for you guys. We did get an objective player today as well. Road to the final and Babu with the sick dynamic image. That is a GG. Um, and it, you know, it's going to take a little bit of a grind to get him. You have to score. It's all through rivals and, uh, squad battles, I believe. Yeah, it's rivals, Switzerland players and with Wolfsburg players, and then, uh, using him, uh, in, in squad battles as well. So you're going to have to do a little bit of a grind for this, but you do get some pack rewards. Uh, so, and you get a shadow item as well. So you get a shadow chem style you can chuck on the card. But uh, that's a very nice looking card um, for a right back in the Bundesliga. Obviously, the links aren't the best, but he is hyped up. So if you're somebody who likes to grind objectives, uh, you have 10 days to do this, basically. So you got plenty of time to do it, plenty of time to get this card in your club if you are ever going to use him. I would, I'm would, i going to say go for it, please. Like Just get this card in your club. Spend the extra time, if you can, to go and get this card in your club because, you know, who knows, maybe... Wolfsburg has a huge run this year, makes it far in the tournament, and this card ends up being a beast of a card because he's already really good. Imagine this card with a few upgrades. So that's all I'm saying about that. I would say this is a, a full send and on my part. It's going to be worth the time. Um, I, I don't want to talk about the icon swaps because I don't know why they're not out, um, but uh, it is what it is. I don't know how. I don't have any information on that. Those were I thought they were coming out today, but evidently they were not. But we did get a couple SBCs today. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the Joe Gomez uh, Future Star SBC last year. I think that SBC was around 300K as well, which right now this Joe Gomez SBC is coming in out on uh, Footbin as 340,000 coins. So it's very, very expensive. But EA priced this perfectly for how they want this or what they want this SBC to do. They priced this at 340,000 coins because... And they think that you're going to think, shoot, Liverpool, they're going to go far in the Champions League. I'm going to get myself a Joe Gomez card, already a pretty good looking card. I'm going to drop the 340,000 coins on it because he's going to be worth that when he gets upgraded um, in the future. And that's just like a coin sink and a coin trap because you're putting your untradeable coins into a card like this. Yes, it has the possibility to upgrade a ton in the future. It has a lot of potential and stuff like that. But... Uh, you're putting away 330,000 coins right now for a card that, you know, are you actually going to use it? If he, by the time they, if he would, they would win Champions League, that's a long ways away. So by then we're going to have team of the season cards and this card might not be as relevant as it was, uh, you know, like right now. So this is kind of a, a GG to EA here. I know a lot of people are going to do this. Um, if you're a Liverpool fan, I can't doubt you. Like if you're a Liverpool fan, like do the SBC if you're, if you can afford it, stuff like that. I, I won't ever get on somebody for doing it for emotional reasons, or if you're a Joe Gomez fan or whatever, but in terms of the good value for this SBC, um, I think EA technically got the price point correct for them. They can suck a lot of coins off the market with this SBC. And, uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to do it, but they made it expensive enough so that some people with common sense that don't need that card in their team are not going to do it. But I think you're going to see a lot of people do that card. In my opinion, I'm going to say no, it's not worth it. Because by the time he does get upgraded, if Liverpool continue to go on, there's going to be other center backs in the game like icons that you can get. Um, you know, obviously his price range right now, 330k, you get a couple packs back. That's the big draw to that card. I'm still saying not worth it at this time in the game. For that card, 330k, no Thanks. Again, another pack SBC as well. Uh, it's a puzzle SBC with a small gold, small rare gold players pack. Is that what that was? Um, but it's pretty easy. So that's a cheap SBC to do. That's a nice little pack right there. A small gold players pack. Interesting. Um, and then 
Uh, obviously, we got this SBC today, and this started the day off with an absolute bang. This SBC, this this makes me laugh. I literally woke up this morning to see this SBC in the store, and the first thing that I thought of is they're basically requiring the same thing for Jamie Vardy as they are for the UCL 81 plus double upgrades. It's literally the same requirements with more chemistry on Vardy and a Premier League player. Crazy. You're getting a guaranteed 86 rated uh, striker here with good stats from the Prem. Uh, it's just, a, you know, if you're not doing this SBC, I don't know, you should. Please do this SBC. It's the cheapest player of the month you might ever see in this game. But EA has a plan with all this stuff. They knew they were going to crash the market today with this SBC. And the market absolutely tanked this morning, especially with, Bund or with Premier League strikers. Um, I don't want to spend too much time talking about this because you guys know that this tanked the market today. Lacazette, Aubameyang, Rashford, uh, all the, like Lacazette was 80,000 coins last week, uh, 70K this week, and now he's like 39 to 40,000 coins on the market. So ton of panic on that card today, uh, but that's a GG from EA. Thank you for gif gifting us basically a free uh, item as a player of the month. Now, this is the next thing that I wanna talk about. I wanna look at some of these cards on the market. That's a nice little pack outline, by the way. But this is one of, uh, the next point that I want to make. We're talking about their supply. UCL rode to the final player 1.6% with the Europa League at 1.2% from a 50,000 coin pack. I want to look at some of these uh, just to kind of show their rarity. So right now, these are decently rare cards. We're going to watch this throughout the week because I just want to know how rare these cards are going to be. It To be honest, you can see right here, there's three Europa League Road to the Final players that you can actually pack. There's three of them. Jimenez, uh, who are the other ones? Jimenez, Dumfries, and Juan Jesus. And that's a 1.2% ch ch chance of packing three players. A 1.2% chance of packing three players. A 1.6% chance of packing the rest of the blue cards, the Champions League cards. So there's, if you're going to pack one of them, you're probably going to pack um, the Europa League card. It's got a higher, uh, a higher probability of you packing one of those cards. Um, even though it says 1.2%, there's three cards. So think of it that way. 1.6% of UCL. So I mean, these are decently, they're, they're decently supplied. Um, I do have a pack that I will open to uh, end the video, but I want to look at some of these cards supply on the market and it does go by a card by card basis i really haven't looked at these cards at all yet so here is son how many pages does he have um well we can't do the companion uh, the compare price because that's basically a glitch so let's go minimum buy now of a mil and we'll see how many pages he's got never mind the uh ucl has a price range of one point are you kidding me all right we'll put this up to like 1.2 mil so the ucl card is out of there just give us the road to the final there it is how many pages of Sun do we have? We have one and a half pages of Hyunmin Sun. How about Kante? Kante, these guys are very similarly rated. How many pages of Kante do we have? Um, the issue here is going to be with his blue card again. Interesting. But uh, let's see if we can weed this blue card out a little bit. I think the Kante card is just over a mil. Yeah, there it is. All right. How many pages of Kante do we have? One, two, three, four. So we have... Three and a half, basically double the pages of Hyunmin Sun with Kante's card. Kante's card is higher rated. And obviously, this is only the first day of these cards being in packs. Um, but we, we we can learn a lot from looking at their supply on the market. A lot of these cards are just insanely expensive at the moment, in my opinion. Um, if you're looking at these cards for your team, just hold off, please. The upgrades were really random with these cards. Kante actually got a good upgrade. But Mahrez's upgrade from his inform was like literally two stats two individual stats from his inform got upgraded i believe yeah he got plus one shooting and plus one physical that is all that he got from his inform card so it's like they boosted these cards only from their um off of their gold cards ratings and if they had an inform they boosted them up a tiny bit so from the from Mane's inform he has plus one passing and minus one shooting and plus one physical. So this is basically the same thing as the cards that already have informs, which would be Mares, Mane, and Dybala. They got very, very small upgrades today. Um, but you're not buying the cards right now for their first initial upgrade. You're buying them for the upgrades down the road. So again, these cards do get upgraded. Some of these cards are really expensive, man. Uh, Usman Dembele for 800,000 coins is very high in my opinion. 
Um, that's just way, way, way up there. A lot of these cards are going to stay very expensive just because um, people know about these cards this year. Uh, if we look at last year's cards, we'll look at this throughout the week. They were very low as they exited packs, exited packs um, and they rose up a bunch out of packs. But that was partially because nobody really knew what to do with these cards last year. Uh, right now, Allen shows us 300,000 coins. Do we have any cards out here? We do. A lot of Allens under 300K. So this is a card that looks like he's got a lot of supply because Footbin says his lowest price is 295K and I searched 5,000 coins over that and it's taking me... How many pages to the 59th minute? Am I really going to take... It's almost, It's going to take me nine pages to get to the 59th minute. 290,000 coins as is very cheapest at the moment. So um, some of these cards are going to have a lot of supply and we're really going to start to see the supply... Um, after they play real games. And, and we'll talk about all that stuff with these cards, how to trade with them uh, later on in this week as the hype continues to, to rise. But if you want to get one of these cards in your team, the best answer I can give to you and the best thing that I can say to you right now is just wait. These cards are going to be in packs for an entire week. We're going to have pack SBCs. We're going to have week and league rewards, squad battle rewards, all types of rewards and packs coming out in this next week. Let them drop. Let them go down. Let the promo packs come. Uh, and just watch the prices uh, go down and let these cards get packed because they are a little bit more packable than the Scream cards, uh, to be honest. Uh, that's what we can see from these promo packs right here. The 50K is 1.2% and 1.6%. Um, for the Scream cards, as far as I'm concerned, they were all under 1%. Even on the 50,000 coin pack, I think they were at 1% flat or under uh, for the Scream cards. So these are a little bit easier to pack than the scream cards were a couple weeks ago um and you know that's kind of smart by ea because that means they can allow people to lose more coins in these cards in the future as they fluctuate a lot for games but again i want to take a look again at the market index today and show you guys just the amount of panic that was had today on the market people saved rewards for today people opened packs today that's for sure and also people lost a lot of coins today on gold cards there was a lot of panic selling in terms of informs in terms of icons and gold cards on the market think about all those guys today that did jamie vardy that had rashford that maybe bought their rashford for 30 40 or 50 thousand coins and sold him today all the way down to 20 under 20 thousand coins that's some coins lost right there coins lost on guys like a yang people panic sold their Yangs to go get their vardy's people panic sold all sorts of players today to go out and do uh, do the, the Gomez SBC and to try to open packs for a lot of these cards. So obviously we're seeing the, re the market start to rebound back up. It's probably rebounding the best and the most um, in terms of some of these uh, scream cards. I was not on the market a lot today, but it looks like some of these cards have risen back up. Firmino at one point today was under 700K. He's back up to 740. Um, some of these cards are still low though. Insigne was under 900, I believe at one point. So these scream cards are going to fluctuate a lot because they're rare. Um, Deli Ali was at 250 at one point. Uh, Bernard was under 120. Excuse me. Uh, he was under 190. He was right around 190. Otamendi's down because of Joe Gomez uh, and these scream cards. A lot of them did drop, except for Deli. Deli rebounded very, very nicely. So a link to the Hyunmin Sun card there helped him out. But I'm sure a lot of these informs moved. If you're looking for any last minute investments of stuff that maybe is still kind of forgotten about, Look at some of these OTWs. Uh, Coutinho at 190K. I saw him at 185 earlier today, but he's still pretty low. He has a game tomorrow. Benyetter was all over the place today. Lozano at 45K. Some of these guys do have games tomorrow. So if you're interested in trying out your OTW luck, there's been a lot of, of, of guys in the Once to Watch team this year that have been playing pretty, pretty good. So that's uh, a place where you might be able to look to get some cards. All right, boys, I'm going to open this pack. We're going to give it a go and see what happens with this 35,000 coin pack. Um, I believe it is from Objective, so these packs are usually pretty good. That's a big flare. What do we have here? We have a board player. Board down is Italian. Center back, Romagnoli, I believe. Is that Romagnoli? It is. 83 rated. Okay, there's our pack poll for the day. But again, this market was crazy today. Unbelievably crazy day on the market. A lot of people lost coins. A lot of people made coins. A lot of people opened packs. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting weekend on the market as well with these cards that are in packs. Um, it, we'll just have to see what EA does for the rest of this week in terms of content. Um, and hopefully they put out those icon swaps, man. A lot of people are wanting to do those icon swaps, but, um, until we get icon swaps, if you're an objective grinder, 
Go get yourself that Mbabu card. Start chipping away at it. You have 10 days to do it. This card does look insane. And if they go anywhere at all in the Europa League, he's going to have a beast, a beast of a card. I would also expect a couple more SBCs, player SBCs during this next week with some of those cards as well. So just kind of wanted to update you guys on these cards and kind of talk about my thoughts. I love the player selection. Again, the player selection on these cards and the dynamic images is just top notch. Um, GG's to EA on that one. Obviously, no dynamic image for Paolo Dybala because he's on Piemonte Calcio. So we will unfortunately not see any dynamic images for that card, which sucks. But it is what it is. EA, you got to put your money where your mouth is if you want the rights for some of these cards. Conte, nice dynamic image. Mane, awesome. Um, Sun as, as well. I mean, these are just fantastic cards. The player selection today is the biggest W for me. Um, just a huge W in terms of some of these guys that got in. We were we were like thinking up of what guys we'd want to see in this promo. I heard so many people say Allen. I heard so many people say Eder Militao, Usman Dembele. Oh, what if we got Sadio Mane as one of these cards? And we got so many cards today that were just be Sun as well. Like GG's to EA. Got to give them the credit where the credit is due. But uh, they know that it's going to sell in packs. So it's a win-win situation. They're going to sell packs. We're going to have fun, have cool cards to play with and to trade with uh, and to make some coins off of. So again, if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the video, to the channel. Not to the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I just want to, again, bring this video today. Talk about Road to the Final. It is here. A good time to be on FIFA Ultimate Team. Road to the Final Cards. Champions League hype. And we uh, have two teams, which is also pretty fun. All right, boys. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.